the multicolored Asian lady beetle, honeycomb moth larvae, the sexton beetle, all bugs with very special talents. Entomologist Andreas Vyshinska says insects are the most successful group of animals on Earth. There are reasons for this success. Some insects are able to produce molecules with which they defend themselves against predators. Others produce enzymes that help them to adapt to different basic foods. And it's this diversity on a molecular level that we want to know more about and use for humans. Let's take a look at a few promising candidates. Like its European counterpart, the multicolored Asian beetle loves to feast on pesky aphids commonly known as plant lice. The researchers have discovered one reason why the Asian lady beetle has managed to spread so successfully around the world. Because its blood is poisonous, the invasive species doesn't become food for predators as quickly as its native cousins. That's why we had the idea to take an invasive species like the Asian lady beetle and compare its immune system with the immune system of native species that are not invasive. That strategy has led to a few discoveries. The researchers first extracted the insect's circulatory fluid, a substance called hemolymph. A brief vigorous shaking which the bug easily survives and a drop of the fluid is applied to a bacterial culture. It's put in this incubator for 24 hours. The results are convincing. The bacteria didn't stand a chance. The active substance at work is called harmonin. We tested this harmonin and could show that it works, for instance, against the bacteria that causes tuberculosis, and also against malaria. So you could use it to develop new medicines against TB or malaria. The team's second test subject is the honeycomb moth larvae, also known as the waxworm. They never contract gangrene. Waxworms produce enzymes that kill the pathogens that cause the disease. A molecule isolated from the waxworm is now at the preclinical research stage. With it, we want to produce a new medicine with a novel mechanism of action. This is where Wilschinska's colleague Mark Zalci comes in. Together with biotechnologists, he's increasing yields of the substance in a bioreactor. The method could be upscaled for industrial production later. The antibiotic agents are mixed in a gel. We're relatively far along. We'll soon be testing on pigskin models. Still, pharmaceutical research is a step-by-step -step process. It'll take a while before it can be used. But there is a big pharma company that's already signaled interest in us and wants to develop it together with us up to the final product stage. And here's test subject number three. The researchers have learnt from the sexton beetle how it conserves food. If the bug finds a dead mouse in the forest, it buries it, first covering it with sticky saliva that prevents it from rotting. Though the insect is shy, the researchers are hot on its trail. We're now thinking about how we can get to the enzymes that the beetle uses to digest the dead mouse. That, for instance, would be highly interesting to the food industry and for technical applications. There's no clear winner in the insect talent contest. Many other species also have abilities that can be harnessed to fight disease. It just takes time and patience to discover them.